ex mega church pastor gets arrested for assaulting a woman and getting caught with a firearm. This is a pastor that's been enthralled in a ton of controversy. This is someone who, um, once upon a time, I used to really watch and enjoy on the elephant room. He actually helped coordinate that whole thing. He was early in the content space, if you will. And in 2019, apparently got removed off staff from a church for bullying and other inappropriate things for a pastor. But just this last week, he got placed under arrest for a crazy bizarre story that I hope there's a good explanation to here in San Diego County, in Coronado, which is crazy. Disgraced megachurch pastor James McDonald has been arrested and charged with felony assault and battery in California, our home state, after authorities say he attacked a 59-year-old woman resulting in serious injury. I'm not laughing. This, this, is, this sounds like a road rage incident. According to a criminal complaint filed by the San Diego County District Attorney's Office, McDonald faces one charge of assault by means likely produced great bodily injury and one account of battery with a serious serious bodily injury. James McDonald personally inflicted great bodily injury upon Barbara Bass. The complaint reads, it adds that McDonald did willfully and unlawfully use of use force, use force and violence. Hmm. If convicted of all charges, charges, McDonald faces seven years in prison. Witness came to the victim's aid and stopped the man from leaving the area. Officers arrived on scene, arrested the suspect, and also found a stolen handgun inside of his truck, which, for so, reference, is also right here. Yeah, go back to the other go back to the other article because it describes exactly what happened. Coronado, Coronado police, police reported, reported at 10:15 a.m. this morning, a 62-year-old man was attempting to parallel park his truck in the 900 block of Orange Avenue when he struck the vehicle parked in front of him, which was occupied by a 59-year-old woman. As the woman got out of her car to talk to the man, he jumped out of the truck and attacked the victim. As he was assaulting the woman, his truck rolled backwards, <gasps> striking the parked vehicle behind him. Witnesses came to the victim's aid and stopped the man from leaving the area. Officers arrived on scene, arrested the suspect, and also found a stolen handgun inside his truck. The victim was transported to the hospital with serious injuries. The roadway was closed for approximately one and a half hours while officers investigated the incident. People were quick to comment that citizens need to learn to control their temper. Those same people would have been completely shocked had they realized the man charged is a former megachurch pastor. Okay, now scroll down. Uh, McDonald's firing was massive news in church circles. He was given very influential ministry figure. He was close in all the circles, all the things. He or he helped organize that elephant room debate. He was everywhere. His church was thriving, 13,000 people. Uh, McDonald took to Facebook just back in 2019 when he got fired. I was, am, and will remain very sorry for the careful and hurtful words that were illegally recorded and publicized. I like that he threw in that it was illegally <laughs> recorded, but he is sorry. All right. Um, I confess to all those who follow my ministry, a regression in the sinful patterns of fleshly anger and self-pity that wounded co-workers while McDonald no longer appears to hold a position in ministry that hasn't stopped him from doing his own thing. <sighs> this video titled How to Keep Your Heart Tender to the Lord was posted to YouTube. Just This is so sad. Play this. These weeks very well. A lot of times low points come after high points. And uh, so in this particular season, I have a teaching to share with you about uh, how to come off the mountain. So this is his YouTube channel most. where he's now posting old sermons from his celebrity pastor glory days. High points all the time. The fact is we can't. So here it comes, you know, how to get off the mountain, how to live in a routine. Fast forward, I just, went, I just I was trying to show what, what he's doing now. But And you can clearly tell he looks different yep. in that video. So he's posting old sermons. He's also in a, a trailer here. This is an RV. Yeah. He's traveling the world. Man. He's traveling the world. Um, posting older videos, you know, and uh, go back. Now, let's see what the statement from the lawyer is so that we have a, you know, we have his story of it, side of it. The lawyer says, James McDonald would never intentionally harm another human being. The charges as written are not accurate as to what took place. We believe the evidence will show Dr. McDonald's intent and conduct was neither malicious nor correctly assigned in the charges filed. We, took, we look to the legal process to establish what did happen and remedy the situation lawfully. Hmm. Now, um, they got to be very wrong for that to be. Listen, now everything's on camera. Yeah. 
there's camera. You, you're not going to Coron Coronado. Tesla's out here got 4K cameras on the side of their cam the, the. Forget the Tesla. You're in Coronado. <laughs> yeah. Literally, arguably one of, if not the most expensive place to live in San Diego. One of the most expensive places to live in the country. Yep. There's cameras everywhere. Yeah. This is going to be really quick to either prove that this he did what they claim he did, or that th that he's being falsely accused of something he didn't do. But if a woman went to the hospital with bodily injuries, not looking good. It is not looking good for this dude. In in light of all the other alleged stuff that, um. One, he was fired for to the alleged stuff of trying to hire. See if you can find the story about him trying to hire someone. You know, no, we're not, we're not going to go down that rabbit okay. hole. I want to show a clip from the type of ministry he used to do. If you love those who benefit, yeah, for even sinners love those. Okay, now, now fast forward towards the end where he shows, he basically affirms his church for how they reacted to. And then he goes inside as his only person, takes off his stuff. So I took a few moments a couple of weeks ago and camped outside of a couple of our campuses and I wanted to see how we were doing you know when it's hardest to love do you know that your father in heaven is giving the same graces to the person that's hardest for you to love he's giving it he's giving it. he doesn't play favorites he's giving the grace to everyone and if we're gonna love like our father in heaven loves we don't get to play favorites and by favorites I mean so often we love the people where there's some benefit in it for us, right? Okay, 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 fine. I'll call my brother when I get home. I haven't talked to him for two years, but I'll Fast call forward him. it. He just, he just shows like how good of his, his church did on this. Dying inside that beard. The number of people that prayed with me and brought me food. Just watch and see. So this just goes to testify like how cool his church was. Yeah. Like this, like this church just sees this guy and they, multiple people offer him food, a ton of people offer to pray with him. Super cool. Like he was doing a good job from, from just a content standpoint, mm -hmm. from a content standpoint, from a, uh, elephant room the type of videos he was making like the, and what year did that come out that's a couple years old that's not new that came out four years ago it's four years on ago the james mcdonald youtube page it could have been er later earlier than that as well yeah so um i can't believe that the same guy did this allegedly allegedly but it goes back to the point i keep making and everybody gets upset about me making some of these pastors are even catching wind of the point that i'm making are some of these pastors not called to be pastors Great right? content creator. Great content creator. I mean, two million views. You keep this guy in his content, potentially, right? Just just keep him immersed in the content and away from shepherding people. Yep. And goodness, this is, they, got, they got to be a space for guys like that in the church. Yeah. Right? Yep. But maybe we just don't let them around the people. Mm -hmm. Right? Like maybe we just don't. The church has a YouTube ministry. Church got a YouTube ministry. You know what I'm saying? That'd be heat. We don't, we, don't, we don't get him too close to people because he's, 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 you know, he's kind of rough around the edges yep. kind of demeaning and bullying and all that kind of stuff <laughs> and then you yeah. you know you you no, that's let them make great content and preach occasionally yeah yeah you you get to use the the congregation for your stunts your pranks whatever you need to do <laughs> oh. your your homeless pranks you can have the big you, reveal you made this way darker than it no, had no, no. To be. i'm saying i'm saying that's great that's awesome blaine blaine said we hiding in the green room some of these brothers need to be hiding in the green room <laughs> Some of them, some of them just need to be at the studio, dude. Some of them just need to be in the YouTube studio. Yeah. You know, is that what Hillsong did with their pastors? I mean, listen, there are definitely guys. There are definitely guys out there who love Jesus, can, can, can communicate and articulate the gospel, have great ideas, but they're not shepherds. They're not the people that are going to give you premarital counseling. They're not the people you want to show up when you're when you're at the hospital or you lose someone. They're not the people that are going to do the mm. funeral. They're just, they're great communicators, and all of this is in, in modern day evangelical church has kind of been reduced to like pastor worship pastor. That's it. Yeah, and a lot of guys aren't wired to be the because you got to think as a lead pastor, at least in this context, in this evangelical context. You got to put together a TED talk every week mm -hmm. with an illustration that's actually theologically sound, but also is entertaining to some degree. You got to move your body. Right? So you got that. And then you got to lead an organization. 
And then you got a shepherd and pastor, at least your staff, if not more people. Mm Mm-hmm. Not everybody that can communicate is 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 that equipped to do all of those the all the above, and so I think what happens is these guys become slaves to their own making. Ah, you build this entire thing, and then you struggle to do the roles and responsibilities of a pastor, and it's hard. Yeah, you know it's hard, and so I I I I'm not saying these guys a victim, but I'm just saying like I just wonder if someone like that was starting today. If someone like that was 30 years old, starting like that, maybe they worked on the media department of a church and they're mm-hmm. starting like that today. What would that look like today? Or was he at one point a great shepherd and over time drifted? Why do you think content creators still choose to be shepherd of a flock when in reality they're closer to Tyler Perry than a pastor? I think lack of imagination. I think lack of imagination. I don't think these guys know what's available and what they can be doing. And I think what me, what, what I'm doing um on youtube and even uh you know we, we just had isaiah salivar on the channel which you guys should all go on patreon watch that whole thing uh the, the podcast even he talks about starting a church and then kind of pulling back and going into the content creation space yeah i also wonder how much of it too is just straight stability like l- lack of imagination per se but it's also do i want to grind it out for a year a year of being good on YouTube before mm. I can actually start making money. Mm. And then you're like, I don't really, I know maybe one or two people that does YouTube full time. This church is hiring for 52 K a year. Mm-hmm. And you're like, I can just start as associate pastor mm. and work my way up and be a content creator, but mm. get paid for it. Same way that, um, you know, young actors might take a, a deal with a, a production company, like a Brett Cooper in a daily wire, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, yeah. to, to just sign a deal. Uh, I really hope this stuff's not true, but I think they're gonna figure out really quick if it is. Yeah, I yeah. think this whole like my client's absolutely innocent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think I think uh, I think it's gonna be very clear. And if you want to go the extra mile and partner with us here, get the daily access to our after party streams like these. You get access to our podcast before they go live. Like I told you, we got Tim Ross coming on tomorrow. And discount code and Discord access for as little as $5 a month. Consider partnering with our online community. Keep us independent, only answering to you so we never have to make goofy commercials like these. Our friends at GenuCell Skincare have exciting news to celebrate in 2023. Using Manscaped during my showers after workout has given me much more confidence. And that's where Mudwater comes in. True Classic has got your pack. All thanks to the sponsor of today's video, SayMine.com. Established titles is your opportunity to earn the title of Laird lady. Objective credit approval rates range from 7.99% APR to 19.99% APR included 0.50% auto pay discount. If you don't want us to make ads with brands you don't care about, sign up for our online community for as little as $5 a month to keep us independent and ultimately answering to you as our boss. You get all sorts of benefits like daily replays of our after party streams, exclusive access to our Discord community, and early access to our podcast interviews, all starting for only $5 a month. King Stream Entertainment.